Hey guys, what's up? This punk guy here back for another punk rock album review and this time we're doing a uh, strung out uh, black out the skies I love that album cover. Look at that sick ass artwork. Um, this is their first album since 2015's uh, Transmission Alpha Delta and I really like that album a lot uh, because it's uh, back to their old uh, 90s melodic sound off their first couple of albums and uh, right off the bat this I'm not really a big fan of acoustic albums and you can see that they try to do something new and unique. It's There's only eight songs on this album, but they're all acoustic, um, which is something totally different that they've never really done before. I don't think I've ever heard a, a strung out acoustic song, let alone a whole album, which uh, in that itself is unique. But I'm not a real big fan, like I said, when bands do that, mostly because a lot of punk bands do that later in their career. And it's just, eh, you know, you do tend to like the songs that, uh, that they play with distortion and they play acoustic those are always usually the best songs on there it takes a little while getting used to and i've been listening to this album for about uh two weeks straight now so i gotta say there are some good songs on here the architect it opens up with it starts off uh really dark really heavy and that's a great song a great intro to the song and the album and it lets you gives you a feel of of uh what's gonna happen and uh lets you say okay this is uh this is acoustic but it's also dark and moody so you're gonna get that vibe too and if you like that then you know what you're in for uh, another great song is uh towns of uh towns of caranzo which i can't even say that right anyway um it's a real great song about family and friends and it's a song that you've heard a bunch of times but they do it really well and um there's a lot of emotion that they show from there and you could tell that um when you hear them writing this song that when they're on the road they're you could feel the pain that they miss and you know it's good it's good to have songs like that just because it it won't it's there to remind you of uh what's really important in life and sometimes we let that get away from us and i think that's a great song to really emphasize that point so like i said not a huge fan of acoustic when bands go acoustic for instance a song called requiem which um don't get me wrong it's a minute it's about a minute and 20 seconds and it starts off with this small buildup and it builds up for this minute like it's going to go somewhere and about a minute and a half into it, you know, the distortion kicks in, the guitars get heavy, uh, the drums start playing louder and it feels like it's leading to something and then it just, it just ends. So I feel like that song's kind of a letdown. I do like it, but it, there's no payoff is basically what I'm saying and I think that the payoff should, you know, maybe a verse or just the chorus again uh, with distortion uh, would really, you know, give this song some oomph and not really just like right off the cliff uh, without an ending. That's what it feels like. Of course, the highlight definitely is uh, Matchbook, which is my favorite strung out song, period. And I think it's a lot of people's favorite song. I think it's because it's relatable. It's about a breakup and trying to move on. And when they do it acoustic here, you can really feel Jason's voice. And, you know, when the first time I listened to it, it, you know, acoustically, it does bring up a lot of old feelings of, you know, especially like people that you want to forget about. And then it reminds you of them. It's kind of weird how it does that. But and that's what music does. It makes you feel something. And uh, acoustically, I think this drives home the point even more. It makes you feel it even more with that little guitar lead that they do in the song. Um, it's just really amazing and hands down the best song on this album if you're a big fan of strung out and you want to check out something a little bit different than what they do um then check it out um the reason why it's important that bands kind of mix it up um i know in the last album i said uh the pennywise album they kind of stay with the same track is that could be monotonous uh at times especially when a band does it for like 10 straight years so to give it a little up and down curves, I mean, some of these songs I wouldn't mind hearing live all the time, which actually when they did play it live, when I went to um, the opening for it, um, they played a bunch of these songs live and they all sounded excellent. I think they even sound better live. And uh, so it's a decent album. It's something different. I don't know if in their next album... Um, they're going to go back to their traditional uh, sound or not, what they're going to do. I know this is maybe just experimental, but um, I would say if this was an experiment, then it definitely passed. So, uh, I think you should take a, a listen to it. Definitely, uh, I listen to it when I uh, when I go to sleep at night. It It's very soothing, and his voice is just very 
relaxing. Not that not that it makes me sleepy, but it just kind of helps me, you know, after listening to high energy music all day, it helps me to put me in a good, relaxed, calm state. And uh, something interesting. Let me know what you guys think about this album, if you guys liked it. Um, if you like this album uh, review, leave a comment, uh, like, add, subscribe. I'm going to be putting out even more content soon. So, um, yeah, I don't know what the next punk album uh, review is going to be. Probably The Interrupters. Like, add, subscribe my channel. I'm going to be putting out new content. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you guys on the next punk rock album review.